Guys, I'm having a really hard time with coming up with examples for you because it sounds crazy. And it's not crazy, I mean. Hi, my name is Giselle Foster. I'm an acting coach in New York City as well as an actor. And I know what it's like to start a career from scratch. And I just wanna help you make it a little bit easier. How cool would it be to have your child in movies or TV shows or on covers of magazines or when you walk in Gap all over the walls? So cool, but there are a lot of conversations that you should be having before you even embark on a career for your child in entertainment. So here are 10 questions to ask you, yourself, your family, your children before you start a career for your young actor. What sacrifices are you willing to make when it comes to auditions, when it comes to bookings, when it comes to self-tapes? What are you okay sacrificing and what is a hard no for you? What you are not going to sacrifice? That's a very broad question, but we need to talk about evenings, sports, vacations. There will be times where an audition or a booking might come up during a holiday or during a vacation or during the tournament of another sibling. What are sacrifices you are okay with and what are sacrifices you are not okay with? What are your financial boundaries? So starting a career in the entertainment field is super expensive and you want to be aware of how much money you're expected to shell out. Now I talked all about that in another video so please go watch that video and then sit down with your partner or whoever else you have as a support system in your life and talk about how much money you are willing to invest and when you talk about that number make sure it doesn't include anything that you can't get back. So when you're investing in your child, you wanna make sure that if nothing comes from this, you and your household will still be okay. You don't want any resentment coming from the investments that you make or anger. Are you okay if they quit? If they wake up tomorrow and they say, you know what, I don't wanna do this anymore, it's stressful, are you gonna be okay with that? And even more, if they wake up and they're just like, ah, I don't really like it anymore. How okay will you be with that? This is a really important question to ask because as actors, we wave in and out of interest all the time. Uh, it's a lot of rejection to deal with. It's also a lot of pressure if you are booking continuously. Um, and sometimes that can outweigh how much fun and how amazing it feels to follow your dreams. Most people, most actors who step away from acting usually step back, but I wanna make sure that you are okay if your student decides that it's not something that they wanna do anymore. And if the answer is no, then you should reconsider it. If you are lucky enough to have a two-parent household, you need to figure out how you're going to split the responsibilities of this new job because it is a job. So who's more focused on the home? Who's going to make sure that the other kids are taken care of and everything is going well? And then who is going to be responsible for taking off work early and making sure that you're able to get your student to an audition? Who's gonna take off work to go to the bookings with that kid? Are you going to switch back and forth? How do you decide whose turn it is? Is it based off of the day? Is it based off of who took them on the audition? These are questions and conversations that you need to ask and talk about. How often will you have a family meeting? Okay, I know this sounds ridiculous and silly, but I'm being so serious. Auditions and bookings can become very stressful. Not only that, there's a lot of information that needs to be passed from one parent to the other. And there's a lot of conversations that need to be had with the student as well. So how often are you gonna sit down and check in, make sure everyone, including the siblings that are not in the industry, checking in with everyone, seeing how everyone is doing. How often will you do that? And during these conversations, you also wanna make sure you're talking about, what if you're on your way to a family dinner and you get an email for a self tape and you already know that you're not gonna get home until about 11 p.m. and it's gonna to be too late to do an audition. 
What is the plan B in those scenarios? Have you decided that early morning auditions are better? So you have your young performer go to sleep as soon as you get home and you wake them up at 5 a.m., get them ready and have them do their audition in the morning? Is your student aware of this plan B and is willing to cooperate in these situations? When do you book out? So first, what does that mean? So that means it's a time where you decide you're not gonna take any auditions, you're not gonna take any bookings, you are out of the game. When would you wanna book out? I would definitely book out any vacations and book out as far in advance as possible. I'm the silly person who's in Puerto Rico still filming self tapes. If you want that to be you, that's great. Um, still, you wanna book out for anything in person, but you can let them know, hey, we're booking out, but we're still available for self tapes. It's up to you. Uh, besides vacations, you wanna book out for holidays if you know that you're gonna travel and you're gonna buy tickets. If you know that Christmas is very important to you or Hanukkah is very important to you, you wanna make sure that during those days, you say, this is the line, we're not taking any auditions, we're not taking any bookings. You need to have that conversation because it will happen right in the middle of your family vacation. Another good time to book out is during regionals or during a big test period in your school. You wanna make sure that your kid is in the mental space that they can be auditioning. You wanna make sure that if they get a three page script or a four page script, they can really sit down and use their time to memorize it. If you have tons of tests and lots of homework, that might not be the best time to be auditioning. Know yourself, know your young performer well enough to just say, here's the line, we're not auditioning for three weeks because I really need to make sure you're prepared in school. And to be honest, nothing is more important to school because if you don't have your grades up, you're not allowed to audition anyway. There are scenes that could be conversations that you haven't even had with your child yet. So you wanna make sure that you're very clear on what you're okay with them doing and what they're not okay with doing. So for example, I had a young man who was auditioning for something and um, in his script, not only were there a ton of curse words, um, guys, I'm having a really hard time with coming up with examples for you because it sounds crazy. And it's not crazy. I mean, in this industry, there are a lot of adult conversations and topics that children will audition for and book. So you need to have a conversation about what topics are off limits and what topics your young performer is mature enough to handle. Will you be all right if in three years you still haven't made any money? Now this is a good question to ask because it takes years to perfect your talent. It takes years to really hone your skills and be good at auditioning, which is the worst part of acting, by the way. And so you wanna make sure that you will be okay investing all of this time, all of this energy in your young performer if in three years, nothing has come out of it. Now, of course, that's not the truth. They would have had amazing experiences and met amazing people. And acting in general teaches you so many amazing skills, but it makes sure that you're checking in with yourself to see if you're doing this for the right reasons or the wrong reasons. <sighs> wow, that was a lot. And I know you have a lot to think about now. So I put together a PDF and you can find that in the video description. There's a link for you there. And I just want to thank you for being open to having this conversation. Make sure you sit down with your family because the families that ask these questions sooner rather than later end up in a much better place. So that's all that I have for you today. As always, wishing you love, light, and all that jazz. Bye.